Hi, everyone. It's future me, Doug Johnston, from Doug Trucking. I've just dropped off a JCB tractor here. I'm just recording this intro for the video you're just about to watch because the Donut TV said I forgot to do one. So here goes. Welcome everyone to the third episode of Doug Trucking. In this video, I'm taking another recreational vehicle from Wichita to Kansas City. The time is 12.35 p.m. and it will take me three hours and 30 minutes. So I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.
Here's a song I like by Will Harrison. It's called Driving Me Crazy.
right. In the 21st century, the Kansas City area has undergone extensive redevelopment, with more than $6 billion in improvements to the downtown area on the Missouri side. One of the main goals is to attract convention and tourist dollars, office workers, and residents to downtown KCMO. Among the projects include the redevelopment of the Power and Light District into a retail and entertainment district, and the Sprint Center, an 18,500-seat arena that opened in 2007, funded by a 2004 ballot initiative involving a tax on car, rentals and hotels, designed to meet the stadium specifications for a possible future NBA or NHL franchise, and was renamed T-Mobile Center. In 2020, Kemper Arena, which was functionally superseded by Sprint Center, fell into disrepair and was sold to private developers. By 2018, the arena was being converted to a sports complex under the name High V Arena. The Kaufman Performing Arts Center opened in 2011, providing a new modern home to the KC Orchestra and Ballet. In 2015, an 800-room Hyatt Convention Center hotel was announced for a site next to the Performance Arts Center and Bartle Hall. Construction was scheduled to start in early 2018 with Luz as the operator. From 2007 to 2017, downtown residential population in Kansas City quadrupled and continues to grow. The area has grown from almost 4,000 residents in the early 2000s to nearly 30,000 as of 2017. Kansas City's downtown ranks as the sixth fastest growing downtown in America, with the population expected to grow by more than 40% by 2022. 
Conversions of office buildings such as the Power and Light Building and the Commerce Bank Tower into residential and hotel space has helped to fulfill the demand. New apartment complexes like 1, 2, and 3 Lights, River Market West, and 503 Main have begun to reshape Kansas City's skyline. Strong demand has led to occupancy rates in the upper 90%. The residential population of downtown has boomed and the office population has dropped significantly from the early 2000 to the mid-2010. Top employers like AMC moved their operations to modern office buildings in the suburbs. High office vacancy plagued downtown, leading to the neglect of many office buildings. By the mid-2010, many office buildings were converted to residential uses and the class of vacancy rate plunged to 12% in 2017. Swiss, Re, Virgin Mobile, Auto Alert, and others have begun to move operations to downtown Kansas City from the suburbs and expensive coastal cities. Right. 